What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video to help you guys in 2022 with Navy Federal and getting approved for their credit cards, particularly for the Platinum credit card that we're going to be talking about today. So this one is an unsecured credit card they have, but serves a bit of a unique purpose for uh, for people. Probably not the most popular they have because only really certain situations people are going to want to use this card typically. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel because we're going to talk about this card. I'm going to give you guys some information, insight specifically on this card, and then I'm going to give you guys some insight later um, after we talk the benefits and features and things of this card. I'll give you guys a little bonus tip and actually how you can basically. Um, it's about as close as you're going to get to being able to get two different credit card sign-up bonuses of Navy Federal with only one hard inquiry. And then we'll talk about some things you want to know for all of Navy Federal's credit cards and just how they operate in general. So the Platinum card here, this is one of the six credit cards Navy Federal has to offer. So this is their, whoops, let's start here. So this is their End Rewards, a secured card. Then all these up here, these are all unsecured credit cards that have different points you get, different cash back or sign-up bonuses, things like that, um, that they offer. But the Platinum card... This is the one they say here, right? Save with a low intro APR on balance transfers. That's the big benefit to this card. So with that benefit to this card, we're going to scroll down here and see the score they want you to have. So this is best for large purchases paid up over time, low interest rate, and average to excellent credit. Like most of Navy Federal's unsecured cards, you only need to have average credit to, be, to even qualify for them. Uh, the flagship, they want you to have good credit, good to excellent. That's their toughest one to get. A lot of the other credit cards, including this, um, you only need to have average credit. That's one reason people like Navy Federal because you can have average credit, qualify for a card, and oftentimes get a pretty good um, credit limit, like people getting fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars limits on their card when they apply for them. A lot of people like to do the whole late night hack. Works for some, doesn't work for others. That's about as about as um, far as I can tell. Pre-qualification, we'll talk about that a little bit later. It's a tool you can use, but for the rates, fees, and the rewards it offers. Purchase and balance transfer variable APR between 5.99 and 18%. Navy Federal does not go over 18% on their credit cards. That's one reason people like them is because they don't have 24.99, 29.99%. Okay. In general, you can also see here too with their fees, no annual fees, no balance transfer fees, no for transaction fees, and no cash advance fees. So I don't know that I've seen any of their place have no fees for all four of these. I've seen you know a couple of them, but never all four. Not that I can think of. So Navy Federal's low fees are oftentimes no fees with not just their credit cards, but other products they have as well. Their interest rates are lower than much of the competition. So they're the biggest credit union for a reason. Now, the big reward with this card is the low interest rate that they offer. Now, these are some of the other features and benefits they offer, like collision damage waiver, travel emergency assistance, cell phone protection, then a whole bunch of other stuff down here that's pretty common. Member deals, a good way to get additional points with your card. So we'll scroll up here, then we'll go into right here, the offer details with this card. So here's what they're really pushing. And after this, I'll give you guys a little bonus here. So it says, get our platinum credit card and you can save on interest with zero APR, zero intro APR on the balance transfers for 12 months. After that, a standard variable APR between 5.9 and 18% applies, plus you won't pay balance transfer fees. Hey. So that's the, really the big benefit to this card, okay? It helps if you get a high limit on this card. When you're doing your balance transfers, you can put a larger amount on it. But you're not going to pay interest, and you won't pay balance transfer fees. That's why people love this card, okay? So if you're in that particular situation where you want to do a balance transfer and you don't pay any um, interest on it, it can be great for that use. But in general, it doesn't have a, seem to have a ton of use outside of that. Now, this deal says it expires January 3rd, 2022. But this has been the same deal they've offered, the same promo they've offered uh, last couple of times. Because it's not a cash back card, because it's not like a big sign up bonus, anything like that, there's not a whole lot to really change around on it that I can see. I mean, really, the reward is just this low interest rate. That's the biggest thing. Now, one thing I'll share with you that I learned from a Navy Federal rep when I called in was how you can basically double dip on getting a bonus. So let's just compare this with the, um, here, let's just use the flagship. So with the flagship card, if you apply for this card here, what you can do is, just like most of Navy Federal's credit cards, it's a 90-day um, promo is what they offer. So all the other unsecured cards they have, you get some kind of like cash back bonus. It's within the first 90 days. So when I was talking to this rep, what she told me you can do is you can apply for like the uh, flagship card, and you need to spend four grand in 90 days to get a $400 um, cash back, or you get you know 40,000 points. Now, what you can do on this card is apply for this and say you spent $4,000 in the first month. So you're going to get your $400 you can cash back. 
So you spend 4,000 the first month, you can do a product switch to the platinum card because this promo is for 12 months. So you get 0% interest rate APR for 12 months and then standard variable APR, right? 5.99 to 18, you won't pay balance transfer fees. So basically you can, if you can spend four grand in the first month on something, you got a big purchase coming up, you can get $400 back, then you can product switch to the platinum card and you still have 11 months on this promo, if that makes sense. So this promo is three months. Even if it takes you three months to spend four grand, you can still product switch and you take three months off of this, you have nine months left of a promo that you can use. And the product switch doesn't pull, doesn't isn't a hard inquiry. You're just switching products. So it's about as close as you're gonna to get to being able to get two complete bonuses, you know, or sign up bonuses or intro offers on just one hard inquiry. So it was cool that rep shared that with me. So that's what you can do. You can actually sign up for one card, hit the sign up bonus, and then switch over to this if you want to still get, you know, however many months of zero percent intro APR and not pay balance transfer fees. Good to know, right? Now I'll share some of the notes with you I have here with Navy Federal. This is pretty much across the board with all of their unsecured credit cards. Um, they do prefer that you wait three billing cycles, about 91 days before asking for a credit limit increase or applying for another credit card. You can do it before then if you want, but you're just more likely to get denied. Now the common advice is to apply for the credit limit increase on the site or using um, the app so it is a soft pull. I did this when I requested mine online for my flagship card that I have with them. It was a soft pull, it was not a hard pull. So it's common belief too that if you do it over the phone, you request for a credit limit increase over the phone that it's going to be a hard pull. Um, one rep told me it doesn't matter, it's always gonna be a hard pull. Obviously that's not the case. And then another rep told me that um, over the phone, he said it is more likely, but it can be a soft pull. And sometimes it could just be an automatic approval where there's no pull for anything. Uh, but I said that's only like five, maybe 10% of the time. So it seems to be kind of luck of the draw. You are allowed to have up to three credit cards of Navy Federal as a primary, where you're the primary on the card. Authorized user, you can find a bunch of other people with Navy Federal cards to put you on as an authorized user, then there's like no limit to that. But with Navy Federal, your total credit limit allowed with them is $80,000, whether you have one, two, or three cards. So the flagship card, like we were talking about a moment ago, this credit card can go up to eighty an $80,000 limit just by itself, okay? The other credit cards they have, like the Platinum card or you know, the Go Rewards, Cash Rewards, these cards all go up to 50,000. So what you can do is you just have one flagship card, like my one that I have. If I wanna build up to $80,000 limit over time, I can, but then I cannot get a second or third card with them. So that's the trade-off. If you have a Go Rewards card or a Platinum or more rewards or whatever, you can just upgrade those. I mean, you can push those up to a $50,000 limit over time, and then you still have room with you know that $80,000 cap. If you wanna get a second or third card, you can divide it up however you like, whatever you think is gonna be best for you. Now, they do typically pull from TransUnion, okay, on the bureaus. I've heard Equifax, one rep told me 90% of the time TransUnion, 10% Equifax. Another told me 50-50. Pretty much all the data points I've seen, in my experience, um, personally, has all been TransUnion. That's what it, they really seem to lean heavily towards TransUnion for when you do apply, that's where that hard inquiry is gonna show up is on TransUnion. They do have a pre-qualification tool you can use. Some people like to use that to see if it'll help them. It'll help them gauge their chance of getting approved for a credit card. So you will do, uh, let's see, they have it on a lot. There you go, pre-qualify me. So you just click on this right here. This is on the page with all their credit cards, but it's on a bunch of the credit card pages. You can do the pre-qualification tool. It's not gonna hurt your credit score to do it. And that way you can get an idea of what you get approved for. It is stated income on there. You're gonna give some of your personal info, then you're gonna state your income. Now, just because you it shows you pre-qualify for a certain card does not mean you will be guaranteed to get approved when you apply for that card. So keep that in mind as well. Now, also with Navy Federal, some people, what they like to do to help improve their chances of getting approved for a credit card is use some of their other products and services, like either a pledge loan or a CD account to show Navy Federal they're more committed to them. Um, a big thing when I talked to a rep, she was saying if you have just like your checking and savings account with them, even if that's all you have, make sure you don't overdraw and like have, have a negative balance in those accounts, okay? You, sh you need to show them that you can be responsible with your money. If you overdraw your account, you have all these overdrafts, I mean, would you wanna give, would you wanna give someone a credit card who's already having financial problems? Probably not, right? So that's a big thing is making payments on time. You're not, overdraft, or you're not overdrawing on your accounts that you have with them. That's huge Navy Federal. You can get other products and, and do other services with them as well if you'd like, but just being able to show that you manage money well, really even just through a checking and savings account can mean a lot to them. And also after you get approved for your credit card with Navy Federal, you are gonna get a letter in the mail and it's going to look like junk. It's just gonna look like some junk mail. 
keep that because on the back of it, read it and look, go to the back of it, it has your internal score with Navy Federal Credit Union. They actually have their own scoring system for people from 100 up to 450. And that's how they score you. They have their own scoring system, like their own basically internal FICO score, if you will. So you want to keep that because you can only get that, I think, after you apply for um, their credit cards. And they even if you get denied, I don't know if you get a letter, but if you get approved, I know you definitely get one. So and it's I've not been able to get another one in the future. I've asked before about, um, you know, can I just have an updated letter with my score? And I never got anything in the mail. So it might just be hard to get unless you get approved for a credit card. But keep that because it's a good reference guide to have for the future. For if you want to apply for other things with Navy Federal, you can get a good idea of how they see you as a customer. So with all that being said, I hope this was a helpful video for you guys. If it was, tell me in the comments section. If I miss something, tell me down in the comments section as well. But this should give you a pretty good idea of... Navy Federal's credit cards, the Platinum card particularly, but just how their credit cards work in general and things you can do to help you get approved with Navy Federal and just some of their policies that they have in place that you want to be aware of. So with all that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending part of your day with me here on this channel. That's going to be it. And until next time, keep growing your money.